Hello custom viewers, welcome to Eyes of Netflix. I'm Ezra. In this video, we'll be breaking it down from our technical analysis and other flow in explaining where we have our next impulsive wave in the market. So looking at gold right here on this monthly time frame, we see the clear order flow of this pair being bullish. Alright, so since we have a clear bullish order flow, what we do on lower time frame, we join the trend we join the buyers and uh, from our last good data on usd and good we have seen what market has been showing to us so on this monthly time frame we are bullish and after market broke this external liquidity what we expect market to create right here we expect market to create a range structure to the upside right so we expect market to create a range structure so until then market has given us a little idea that it will not take this high at the moment right so because it will not take the high at the moment what do we expect market to do we expect market to what get to this low give us a rejection we want or read this low mostly so we see into that and see what market will do on lower time frame all right so now looking at good we are seeing a rejection on lower time frame already at the exact poi we have marked so we talked about this poi right here where market is at the moment and market has given us what a clear rejection at that area trading into what a structure range on this weekly time frame so looking at market right here you will see what market is actually doing that's traded into this former range right here giving us a little bullish move to the upside into this little range right here so after that it came back to give us what every uh, what a retest of this low so since market has come to retest this particular low what we expect market to do right here we expect what a bullish retracement into the major range on intraday or hourly time frame right so looking at market on this time frame what we expect we expect on this daily time frame we expect a little bullish move into this little range right here from our previous outlook we have explained uh, this cell right here and we have seen it we said we expect what a little bullish move around this area on lower time frame the market did not touch the poy before giving us that little bullish move which was this this particular candle was that bullish move i was talking about so market gave us that bullish move right here and this is what we call a pin bar so whenever you see a pin bar like this which is like uh, a doji it always shows whenever it ha 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 happen on higher time frame you will expect another what momentum candle that means a candle that has strength so this type of candle whenever market shows this type of candle it actually means market is gathering strength so after a doji candle just like this you will see expansion move after every doji candle sometimes it can form it two but most times it do form it one so when when it's forming it two sometimes mostly at what a reversal level all right so we expected this buy and it gave us that buy doji touch our poi which we did on lower time frame refinement and we call this cell right here and market gave us the cell after that we had a POY for buy. We had a POY for buy right here. And that has been where market gave us what a bullish retracement to the upside. So looking at early time frame, we see what market has given us here. This was our previous analysis. And market has gone down almost to the POI we had. So after market got to that POI, it gave us what a little minor break of structure, which is intent right here. So intent means what a change of trend within that time frame. All right, it means a change of trend within that time frame. So this was what market gave us right here, and on lower time frame you will see a good bullish movement right there. So here we have a lower low. that created a range structure and a range structure 
created another range structure. So you know how you target your TP within this area. So these are the things we do in eyes open FS. Knowing how we target what your TP when a range structure is actually creating another range structure. So those are the things that uh, price need to do now. Going to lower time frame, see some uh, things that we have done. And if you're in our channel, uh, eyes open the first channel and my public group you will see what uh, uh one of my students actually did here and both of us actually analyzed the same thing and it happens plainly perfectly so you see how market give us a little intent right here on lower time frame breaking this high so this is what we call intent So after market gave us that intent, it created a higher high, higher low, a higher high, then came read this low, give us what another what intent right here for bullish continuation to the upside. A market gave us that bullish continuation at least to give to what induce this particular high, which will be what your primary aim or your primary target. So after inducing that particular high, markets gave us what. A bearish move from internal structure of this little range, the SC fit, and here we have what called ohm mitigation. Now, the idea of ohm mitigation is quite different from imbalance. All right, imbalance is just having three candles if the first and the third one, their wicks did not touch. That is clearly imbalance, all right? But ohm mitigation is quite different and is treated differently. Why? Because it has a rule. In trading it now looking at this area you see that this area and this area did not touch each other so this is not clearly an imbalance but on mitigation all right it's on mitigation in the sense that there is what a reason why price created it right there so market needs this type of liquidity sometimes not always so based on structure this is just what we do in eyes open first. so if market do a you should know what you do that means you do b not when market do b you go and do c that means you have already got it wrong so you have to uh, follow market properly and understand what market is actually doing All right so after that intent on this lower time frame on higher time frame which is all the time frame we have this as our intent now this intent on this high time frame on this lower time frame since we are putting this in this will be like a minor break of structure on this time frame all right so after that market gave us a bearish this cell here is just what a retracement for retracement into this area to trade into this major range since market has already given us this range area as what a range structure all right so you expect market now to give us what a bullish movement right here which is all this after market traded into the s the same thing it gave intent right here it gave intent right here the same thing after intent it clears somewhat liquidity and general liquidity at secondary inducement right here trade the internal structure give us a structure continuation to the upside right here right so after the bullish continuation targeting that word on mitigation so from there uh, market can give us what a little possible bearish there is structure a little right so what do we expect on this good at the moment we expect what a little bullish movement into this little range after that bullish movement we expect what a bearish structure around this area for another bullish movement to trade into this major range before we see another possible movement within this coming week which i will update you guys on this good so we are expecting what a bullish movement right here so one of the poi will be trading a very structure at least for a pullback you can actually have a poi let's say for example on uh hourly time frame right here we can have a poi right here for a pullback right here another poi you can mark within structure range and structure range you can have it just here right so these are areas you will focus on to trade some pullbacks then trading the bullish order flow in following what your structure range all right so those are some major areas you use in following what the little bullish order flow market is showing on that intraday 
time frame so that is that on this good so we see more prices and expansion so in our next outlook we expect more on this good and we we expect our next expansion to add that to the upside to read this high or to the downside to read this low so that is that do well to follow us on twitter where we'll be posting some educational stuff right there on our twitter account based on psychology and forest advanced knowledge so good luck good trading see you guys